Benjamin Franklin was born in Boston on January 17, 1706. He was the tenth son in his family. When he was 15, his brother started a newspaper company called the New England Current. Ben wanted to write for the paper, but knew his brother wouldn't let him, so he wrote letters at night and signed them with the name Silence Do Good. The letters did end up being published, but Franklin ended up running away to Philadelphia to become an apprentice printer. Franklin started many new programs and created many new technologies. He did not get the credit he should have for these creations. In the 1730s and 1740s, Franklin helped launch projects to pave, clean, and light Philadelphia's streets to help the city that was now his new home. In 1731, Franklin started the library company. Franklin realized books were scarce at this time, and they were expensive. This made him realize that by collecting resources, they would buy more books from England. This was the nation's first subscription library. In 1736, Franklin started the Philadelphia's Union Fire Company. Fires were a dangerous threat to people in Philadelphia, and he tried to find a solution. The solution was this fire company. Franklin also started the Pennsylvania Hospital in 1751. He noticed that the city needed help in treating the sick. He brought together a group who formed the Pennsylvania Hospital, which is still in existence today. In 1752, he started the Philadelphia Contribution for Insurance Against Lost by Fire. People who suffered fire damage often suffered from irreversible economic loss, so this company was made to help the people who suffered from the fires. Franklin was a prolific inventor who never patented his inventions, believing that inventions should be free to all as an opportunity to help others. He invented the lightning rod, the Franklin stove, bifocal glasses, and also demonstrated that lightning and electricity are the same, using his famous kite experiment. Ben Franklin originally said that electricity was liquid and passed from one body to another, and was never destroyed. The fact that electricity is never destroyed is true, but it is not a liquid. He also figured out that when something is being charged, electricity flows from a positive body to a negative body. He was the first to suggest an experiment to prove a connection. In a letter written in 1750, Franklin suggested that during a storm, a wooden sentry box be placed atop a hill or inside a steeple with a pointed rod attached to the roof. If a man inside the box held a wire touching the rod, Franklin predicted he would see a shower of sparks when lightning struck the rod. After the Royal Society of London published his proposal, a group of Frenchmen put it to the test in May 1752. Before Franklin learned of their success, however, he had decided to try it out himself. He thought he could prove his theory with a wired kite, which could fly higher than a hill or steeple. So as the story goes, on June 10, 1752, Franklin and his son William hoisted a kite with a wire attached to it into the stormy skies. When lightning struck, the resulting electricity in the air charged the metal key that he had tied to the end of the string. Franklin touched his knuckles to the key and sparks jumped from the key to his hand, proving his theory that electricity was in fact gathering in the clouds above and he was even able to collect some of the charge in a Leiden jar, a special device made for storing electricity. The sparks Franklin felt were from electricity in the air and not from lightning striking the kite, as some versions of the legend would have it. If lightning had struck the kite directly, Franklin would most likely have been killed, as was a Russian man who attempted the same experiment several months later. News spread quickly of Franklin's electrical amusements, as he called his experiments, making him the most celebrated man of science in the world. He coined terms such as battery, conductor, charge, discharge, and electric shock, among others, and invented the lightning rod, which Franklin considered one of the greatest achievements of his career. The lightning rod is a rod attached to the top of a building, connected to the ground through a wire. The lightning strikes the rod and the electrical charge is conducted harmlessly to the ground through the rod. And wire protects the house from burning down and keeps people from being electrocuted. Bifocals are eyeglasses with an upper and lower half. Upper is for distance and lower is for reading. They are commonly prescribed to people with presbyopia, a condition that Benjamin Franklin had. In August of 1784, he said to George Watley that he was happy in the invention of double spectacles, which serving for distant objects as well as near ones, make his eyes as useful to him as they ever were. The Franklin stove was invented in 1742. It is a metal-lined fireplace that is in the middle of, a, of the room. The invention was important because the Franklin stove was designed to provide more heat and less smoke that, than an open fire. 
Franklin positively impacted American society by creating many new technologies and starting many new programs. Although the programs were mainly in Philadelphia, it was just the beginning for programs like these throughout the United States. The technology created by Franklin, for example, the lightning rod and bifocals, was further de the development of America from years to come. The programs he created improved the lives of others by making Philadelphia a safer place to live for all.